We've headed back up last night, well yesterday afternoon, to one of our favourite spots on Corfu, which is up north. It's a little beach near Spiridon. Spiridon. Is it Agio Spiridon? I think it is. We'll have to look it we'll up. We'll look up the name and we'll put it in the video. That'll appear down there somewhere. Um, as to where we are. We'll show you around. It, it's really nice. It, it seems to be um, children friendly. It's quite shallow, but it's a bit rocky. And but when I say rocky, flat rock, isn't it? Yeah, so parts of the rock that don't dry are a bit slippy, so you have to watch that. But other than that, the, the rocks actually create quite a really nice pool for the kiddies. So over here is Albania. And the beach is, it's not all sandy, it's, it's a bit pebbly, but shallow, the, the water's shallow, and you can see that the rock we we're talking about here, so the water comes, as the tide comes up a little, the water comes in here and creates rock pools, or a big sort of, it's not an estuary is it, that's wrong. It's just like a big shallow pool this side of the rock, so as the waves come over and they form this shallow pool, yeah. which also gets nice and warm couple of really colourful fish just laying around in the mud there. One's got a hat on. <laughs> but like Kate was saying, the rocks out here, the ones that remain always underwater can tend to be a little bit slippery underfoot. But we love this beach. We always seem to have it to ourselves. The van's obviously up there. Here. It's just really nice to wake up to. We've all been in for a swim this morning. What are you doing? Pretty. It's sandy and this little bit down here is a little rock pool kind of thing. It's shallows and then rocks. We love it. And in here is little togs. You good girl. <laughs> Sleepy Topsy. Oh, good girl. So she's just been chilling out in the van. Got all the windows open, she could get out here. But she's happy in her home. While we park up at places, we try and do our bit before we leave. We bought this litter picker couple of euros I think it was and we try and get at least a carrier bag of rubbish at each beach we go to and just pop it in the bin when we leave. We found a lighter and plastic bottles and polystyrene boxes from fishing and nets and 
but we try and just put it in the bin and clear up a bit. Well, it takes a few minutes, doesn't it, each time? Yeah, it's only a couple of minutes to fill the bag. It's surprising how quickly you can do it. So have a deal lid. Bottle tops, there's a lot of bottle tops. And another bottle on it. This is the polystyrene from fishing boats. You know what that is? A bit of metal. carry a bag of rubbish. Um, we've seen some really good things, trasheroos they're called, and when we get the underslung spare put on the back door we're going to get one of them, because then you can have all your rubbish on the outside of the vehicle. Or other people's rubbish. Or other people's <laughs> rubbish, yeah. But we're going to head off to Cesari now, I think Sadari way. Yeah, we've got to get some water haven't we? Yeah, we need some water. Um, a bin. So we'll be back here for sure. It's really warm today. Oh, my life. Yeah, the kids are cleaning up. <laughs> so this is what happens when there's four of you in a van and dogs and your dogs and your cat who rolls around on the beach the kids are clearing it up This is the Lake of the Lilies. watching hide there. You get all sorts of wildlife in here. Just standing here on the edge you can see all sorts of little fish in the shallows. <laughs> 